Hello? Hello, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's not uh, from your side, actually. It was from my side. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Okay. So what do you think about our topic? What's your name? Your name is uh, Fazlan? Yeah, yes. All right. So what do you think? Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, so I tell you, I tell you, I think you did not understand some hadith, okay? So first you mentioned something about uh, the disease, okay? Contagious disease. So the actual meaning of that one is, because we believe everything happens with the will of Allah. So that means, if it is a contagious disease, it is not going to spread itself unless Allah will. So that is the actual meaning, okay? Because so I don't understand, you know. So is the hadith is something, when, when the Muslim they say, that the story of Muhammad life is documented. Are you talking yes. are you talking about a documentation which is proven to be true or it's full of lies? No, no. I'm telling in terms of hadith, okay, you know already you know about Islam in terms of hadith, even though we have Sahih hadith, okay, sometimes the possibility it could be a mistake, okay. But what you but but when you explain something, you have to be specific and you have to understand the context. So in that test hadith you mentioned, there is no any contagious disease. Actually, it is talking about the will of Allah. Like in Christianity, there is a sect called Calvinism, right? They believe in predestination. In the same way, maybe you know, we also believe in predestination. Three what? So, three what? Predestination. That is... What do you mean? Ola, what, Ola. what three destination? We Christian, we believe in three destination? No, I think you don't believe, but there is a denomination, Calvinism, right? Uh, well, those are ideas of people you know for us we follow the bible it's not up to somebody you can come with your own is, is you know uh, uh understanding but the bible yeah, never, the, the bible never yeah. mentioned we don't have such a thing the bible never mentioned this so if somebody no. when i became a philosopher and they bring his own philosophy but, but you are trying to change the topic my friend we are talking about what is written in muslim books not understanding of the hadith it's what it is written is it true is it false? No, it is true, but the actual meaning is different. The actual meaning is everything happens with the will of Allah. Like if, a, if the disease transmitted to someone else, that's happened with the will of Allah. So that is the actual meaning, right? So even in... So, okay, so hold on. So when Ayesha she said that the, we, we were busy with the Prophet death, and uh, uh, a goat came and ate the hadith. Even this one need understanding, like uh, you Muslims can be confused about it, uh, about this. A goat no, ate okay. the Quran. Okay. So now, and there was ten times breastfeeding for adult. So what do you think? What is your what is your reaction for Allah sending, uh, you know, uh, uh, such a hadith, and the goat ate it? And it's about what? It's about a breast fee for adult. Okay, so in Quran, Allah Himself says He has sent down the Quran, He will preserve it. So also we know because Aisha said something, I know, I know there's a Sahih hadith. But when Quran was compiled, the Udman and all the companions, they agreed the Quran is complete. So we have Well nobody hadith. nobody of the companion disagree with this. Can you show me? Prove me wrong. So all oh, okay, okay. Th this is why this is why the hadith is reported from Aisha three, through hundred of years supposedly, and none of you Muslims complain. So the, no, don't play, claim it's you know. So I'm asking you now, a documentation yeah, saying that Allah okay. He commanded Muslim women to give their okay. breast and to feed a foreigner, a stranger, ten times, and this was verse in the Quran, and the goat ate the Quran. Can you tell me what is the verse of a 10 time breastfeed for adult? Is it is in the Quran? No, because when the Quran was compiled, Quran yeah. never mentioned the some words are missing. Because all the companion agreed, Quran is complete. Because can you show me anywhere like Udwan or the people who compiled the Quran, the some words was missing? That's my first point. And the second point, the as a Christian, you can. What is the first this what is the first point? I do not understand. Say it again okay, slowly, yes. please. Okay, my first point is when the Udma and the companions of Prophet Muhammad compiled the Quran, did they ever mention we missed something? Because oh yeah, sure, the sure. They mention a lot, you know, because there's okay. tons of hadith speaking that okay. mat, mat minhu, which means what we were able to collect, not all of it, you know. Okay. And okay. yeah, so there is it's documented too. So you see, you Muslims, 
you claim that the Quran is preserved. Uh, there is an Imam, uh, Mimi Hijab, he just mentioned his name 20 times in the previous video. We played this at this time. As Suyuti. Okay. And he mentioned okay. about tons of chapters are missing. As an example, chapter of Al-Baqarah used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Ahzab. So there is, there is, there is, there is a hundred of verses are missing in one chapter alone. Not in the Quran all. One chapter, which means you can imagine how many is missing in the whole Quran. So it's documented by your scholars and by your companion that the Quran is not preserved. And the Hadith is a shameful Hadith. And you Muslims cannot explain to us, like now, if I ask you, what the point of Allah sending Quran for a woman to give her breast and time to a stranger? What the point? Tell me. Okay, you can ask me the first thing in the Bible. Do you think Bible is preserved? So Bible is corrupted as well. This point. The Bible the is what? Bible, Bible is what? Bible also corrupted. You don't have the. Okay, you see. Okay, I, I will go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you. First of all, when a Muslim he said the Bible is corrupted, are you saying to me your prophet is a liar because the Quran says that Muhammad he confirmed the Bible which is between our hands? Is that correct? No. Show me the hadith. This is not Quran, this is not Hadith. You see, here we go, you play the Hadith now. Oh, this is Hadith, it's not uh, Hadith says, no. The Hadith never say that, and this is Quran. So, the Quran, the Quran says, as an example, chapter 2, verse number 89, that Allah, he said to Muhammad, that he confirmed what is between our hands. And what is between our hands is the Torah and the Gospel. No, can you show me the verse because when I just Quran told you the verse, chapter 2, verse number 89. Okay, when Quran talks about the Injil and Torah, it is talking about the original Injil and Torah because what you have in the Bible, it is I No, 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 Torah. why why you jump in, you know, like uh, in, the, in the speed of light? I just showed you from the Quran that your book okay. confirm our book. You throw a rock at me saying to me, well, your Bible is corrupted. Secondly, you, when the Muslim he say your Bible is corrupted, isn't it supposedly the Bible is the Bible of Allah? So I am telling if the Bible is corrupted. Who is the Bible the Bible of Allah or not? Is Allah who is the one who sent yeah. the Injil? Okay. So yeah. Yeah. so when you say when you claim that the Bible is corrupted, you are insulting your God, saying to us your God cannot protect His book. Correct. No, it is not about the protection of the capability. Okay, the, when, when somebody corrupt the Bible, did he corrupt the Bible according to Allah will or to his will? Can I do something against Allah will? No. Okay, so are you saying to me now, everybody heard you, that nobody can do something against the will of Allah? So are you saying to me it was the will of Allah to corrupt the Bible? No, because in Islam it is... How no, hold on, how no, how no, you just said no. I said to you, can I do something myself against the will of Allah you said no then I ask you listen carefully then I ask you can somebody corrupt the Bible against the will of Allah you said no so the Bible is corrupted according to the will of Allah so the one who wanted the Bible to be corrupt is Allah that's what you are saying to me no, that is, I think that is not an improper logic because according to Islam, whatever evil, it is come from the man. The evil deed, not... It's what, it's what, evil. it's what? That means the evil deed, okay? Something good... No, 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 you see, hold on. If I wanna, this is the book of Allah, this is not an evil deed. Yeah, I'm telling Can you I, you. can I, hold on, can I corrupt the Quran? No, because in Quran, okay, hold on. Allah, so hold Allah, on. No, no, before we continue, before we continue, before we continue. So I cannot corrupt the Quran. Why? Go ahead. Because in Quran it is mentioned, Allah will protect the Quran. Allah explicitly mentioned. I Allah challenge you, I challenge you to show me the verse where it says Allah will protect the Quran. Because I don't have the verse in my head. I have to go. My friend, it. I will give you 10,000 years. The Quran never mentioned Allah will protect the Quran. The Quran said that nobody can change the words of Allah and the Bible supposedly and the Torah according to Islam is the word of Allah. And the Quran says if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So if Allah say in the Quran, nobody can change or exchange the word of Allah, 
then nobody can exchange the word of Allah. Allah never said anything about protecting the Quran. No, first, first people, you have to understand, when we say it is the Quran, it's the word of God, okay? In the Bible and Torah, Injil and Torah, it is an eyewitness at all. This is not a word it's of what? God. It's what? It's what? It's what? It is an eyewitness. Eyewitness means the people who saw, here they wrote it down. It is not a word of God. So okay, who, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see? You, 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 I, I, I know, I don't know what you ate before you call me. Why you are changing the topic? Allah, he no, said, I'm, hold on. Okay. Allah, he said, chapter 6, verse number 34. Nobody can change the words of Allah. Is the Injil and the Torah is from the word of Allah. Nobody can change the word of Allah. The context is Quran. It is not talking about the Bible, not Torah. Okay, okay, hold on. So, okay. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. How you know it's talking about the Quran? Because already it is mentioned in the Quran, the Torah and Injil were corrupted because it is clearly mentioned that even in the early Islam, like Ibn Abbas had that opinion, the Torah and Injil were who, 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 who had opinion? Ibn Abbas, okay. Ibn, Ibn Abbas. Abbas, okay, hold on, guys. Ibn Abbas have opinion. I say to you, show me what your prophet said. Show me what the Quran said. You say yeah. to me, Ibn yeah. Abbas. Okay, yeah. hold on. No, no. Do you have a book of Do you have a book of Ibn Abbas? No, no, it is, in, it is in the Quran. It's no, listen, listen. Quran. You mentioned to me opinion of Ibn Abbas. I did not hear it yet. We want to hear it. No problem. But do you have a book of Ibn Abbas? No, I am so how you know Ibn Abbas, he said what he said? You are the one who is changing the topic, so why can't we stick to one topic? No, I'm we are in the topic, you are the one who mentioned Ibn Abbas, not me. So I'm asking you, Ibn Abbas said, where you get what Ibn Abbas said from? It is from his tafsir. Tafsir, okay, can you show me the Sahih Hadith from the Tafsir saying the Christian, they change their book, which is Sahih, which means we can find it in the Bukhari, we can find it in Sahih Muslim. We can find it in any authentic. So we can take it into consideration. Can we? No, it is, it is, it is mentioned in the Quran itself. The Tawran angel is corrupted. Where it mentioned that? Okay, if you can show me that, I'm going to shave my 25-foot beard. The Quran says, that will help you. We do not know your Quran, obviously. They change their location. How? You read the interpretation, it says, a Jew, he put his finger over the verse. That's it. How that is a change? How, how, how that is a corruption? He put his finger. Your prophet was sitting next to him. The Jew, he put his finger over the Torah. How that is a corruption? So now, if you are sitting next to me and I put my finger over a word in the Quran, my finger, is that will make the Quran corrupt? No, I will, let me show you the verse, okay? What? So, uh, okay. Let me show you the Quranic verse, okay? Okay. So, okay. Let me tell you one thing before that one. So, mm. in early Islam, okay, we had two opinions about the Injil and Torah. You okay. have, you have two opinions. You have two opinions. Yeah. Okay, why you have yeah. two, why you have two yeah. opinions? Yeah, let me, let, let me speak, okay? In no, 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 I, you see, we are talking, my friend, we are having a conversation, take it easy. Yeah. Why you Muslims have two opinions about simple thing? I mean, are you saying to me that Muslims agree about not to agree? Why we don't have one, why we don't have one opinion? Yeah, because in the Quran it is mentioned, uh -huh. Bible and Surah are corrupted, but it is not explicitly. Okay, so hold on, have... hold on, hold on. So, yeah, in yeah. the Quran it mentioned, okay. hold on, in the Quran it mentioned, and I challenge you to tell me where, that the Bible and the Torah is corrupted, and yet you have two opinions about it. How? Why? Yeah, first of all, you have to let me speak what I have to say, because if you are going to continue to interrupt me, there's no way I can tell what I have to tell. So I'm, I'm, tell I'm very much into details, so you cannot escape what you say. And be careful, I'm telling you, whatever you say yeah. is going to be used against you. Now, yeah, give, me, so give me the two opinion and give me the verse saying that the Bible and the Torah is corrupted. I will give you the verse. Before that, let me tell you the two opinions. The first opinion was the meaning, the text was not changed, but the people, the rabbis and the monks, they changed the meaning. Ah, the text, see text. now, look guys, the, the text did not change, but the meaning changed. How that can be corruption? Yeah. Okay, let, that is the first opinion. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. You just told me, you just told me, you Muslims have two opinions. 
I can challenge you to find me one verse in the Quran. You don't have a thousand opinions about it, which means thousands of meanings. So according to you, Islam itself is corrupted because the text did not change, but you have too many meaning. Everybody have his own meaning. <laughs> don't you see in the Bible you don't have different opinion? Okay. At first, no, 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 no. You see, you see. Oh, hold on. You know, we cannot have different. Op we cannot have different opinion about Jesus saying, "Whoever you know uh, ask, I will give. Whoever you know believe and he die, he will live. Uh, whoever believe in me, you know, ask in my name. Uh, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the Truth and the Life. How that can even be op opinion? You Muslims, you have different opinion about everything." Name oh, one thing, okay. name one thing for me you don't have a different opinion about. And let me ask you again, please. Listen, you just agreed, everybody heard you, that the text never changed. And we changed the meaning. Can you give me an example? Okay, because you said there, there was no different opinion in the Bible. Because I have gone through the Bible history, okay? If you see the earlier state fathers, they had so many different opinions about the Trinity itself. Like Clement of Rome. No, yes, yes. there is no. That's not. That's not true. Those are not the Christian, my friend. No, my friend. The, okay. The, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You see, don't don't go. Don't go there. Don't go there. I mean, this looks stupid. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me make it simple for you. When you say to me uh, that we have the book, and the text never change. So now, if we open the book which we have between our hands, does the book does the, does the book mention it clearly, the Trinity or not? Okay, let me tell you the second point because you never let me speak. This is the point. That no, because I will not let you jump like a horse from place to place. No. When you say no, something, just... you have you have to you have to prove it. And look what you no, just okay. look what you just did. You just agreed in the beginning. You said that the Torah and the Bible is corrupted. Now you said no, they are not corrupted as text. They are changed as meaning. Okay. I will go with you. Hold on. I will go with. Oh, I will go with you. Hold on. I will go with you. I will go with you. So when the God, when, hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend. I want you to explain to me one verse. Jesus, he said, "I am from above. You are from below." Let me tell you the second opinion. My friend, I give give me your opinion. I want to see how smart you are. Jesus said, "I am from above." You are from below. Okay. What does that mean? You tell what does that mean? Huh? It just it, it means many things. Okay. What? It means what? Yeah. You tell what it means. You tell it is the he's the God. Okay, then I can ask you. No, 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 no. You see why you are why you don't tell me? Here we go. You said to me you agreed that this is a book never been changed. The text is the same. Okay. In the in the, as no, an example. No. Let me let me finish. Why can't you finish? Because how much time we have to spend? We have time. We have time. We have time. You see, on it, whatever you say, I'm going to hold you from it. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you escape with what you said. So now, when Jesus says, "Before before Abraham, I am," how you can explain that to me? You are the Muslim. Explain the Bible for me now. Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Before even the devil, Satan was before Abraham. So if he got. No problem, but Jesus is not Satan. Do you agree with me that Jesus is not Satan? Yeah, but it is. It is okay, so don't. Why you are comparing Jesus to Satan? Are you being stupid now? Okay. Did, did Jesus? Did Jesus? Did Jesus? Did Jesus say that before the world exists, he was exist? No, you are the one said before Abraham, Jesus was. I am telling you, if that is the logic, he is the God. Then devil should be God too, because even. Devil was existed before Abraham. No, Even you see, before Abraham, Abraham, before Abraham, that means before all the father of the prophets, Jesus was. How he was, okay. explain to me how he was, how he was, how he is claiming that he exists when he is born of Mary. How you explain that? Okay, you can say, you can, I can say you the same. In Bible, Jesus said, only father knows the other. No problem. We, we, we can go there. We can go there. You see, here we go. You are jumping. I'm asking you now. We go We go to the hour. Your God do not know the hour. Jesus, he said, he did not say, I do not know the hour. He says, okay. my father. He just said, my father. So you just said, admit it, that the Bible is not... Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So the question is, when Jesus, he said, my father, did Jesus say that I am the judge in the judgment day? So the father, he have a job to do. He is the one he will announce the day of judgment. The son, he will be the judge over mankind. 
So this is why we believe in Trinity. The Father have a job. He, as Jesus, he said, I work and my Father work too. What is the work of the Father? When it's time, he will announce the day of judgment. That's why he called him the Father. The Father mean is the one who I, me, myself, I have my authority from him. We Christian, we don't believe that Jesus is the Father. We believe that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. Hold on, just wait, just wait. So what you are confusing yourself with, because you are a Muslim, you don't learn Christianity from us, you learn from the from the dummy Muhammad. So when Jesus said, I am before the whole world as with you, uh, was with your father, that means Jesus was exist from the beginning of the time. Do we agree? Uh, but, uh, okay, let me tell let me let me tell you. Hmm. So in Jesus said, only father knows the other. He said, if we say father knows the other, it's okay. He said, not not a single man knows. Not even the angels know, not even the sun know, sun do not know. No only problem, no no problem, because there is two reasons, there is two reasons, my friend, he is not saying he do not know, he is, they are asking him, because simply, no. in Christianity, hold on, hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend, you see, you are jumping from place to place to place, okay, but did Jesus, who is the judge in the day of judgment, is, is it God or Muhammad? Who is the judge in the judgment day? God or Muhammad? It's a God. Okay. So how come how come you ignore that Jesus he said in the same chapter that he is the judge in the day of judgment? But you see only that he said, My father only know, because you are selective, you're trying to find a reason. And which when we explain to you the reason, you don't want to listen. So listen, 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 listen. Why who is the one who forgives sin? God or Muhammad? Oh God forgives sin. Okay. Jesus he forgives sin. Who is the one who is the one who, who is the one exists before all mankind? God or Muhammad? God. Okay, that is Jesus. Jesus says, I was with you, Father, before the whole world is exist. So how come you don't see all of those things, but you see only that Jesus he said, only my father know. But he just confirmed this is his father. The Father. So who is the one who know? The Father, not Allah, not Muhammad, and Jesus because simply. He said, everything I have, everything I have is given to me from my father. So the authority belongs to the father. The son is born of the father, not the opposite. So what's wrong that the father is the one who is having the authority over the day of judgment? But the one who will be the judge, you see, you see, listen, the son have a job, the father have a job. Now let's go back to zero. You said to me that the, the Bible never changed as text, but 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 we change the meaning and you fail to give me you fail to give me how we change the meaning. i gave you a question i said to you okay i'm going to ask you please give me the meaning of the bible you are the muslim now and you are a person with good deed can you explain the bible for me hmm. i simply humbly ask you when i say something let me finish it i'm not going to take you too much time i will take you one or two minutes then i will finish it then hmm. you can explain you can say whatever you need just give me the time to finish what i have to say hmm. i will promise you i will never take too much time so when i say there are two opinions first opinion was the meaning was changed second opinion was the text was changed so hmm. ibn Abba had the opinion the second opinion the text was changed okay was which one you take why well, you are wasting my time which one you take i take the second one the thank you thank you very much change. okay guys he take the second time so thank you very much so all this drama is about what to say to me that even the muslims okay. are confused hold on uh, the Muslims are confused if the text has changed or not. That means the Quran is a stupid book because shouldn't the Quran make it clear? Okay. If this is, hold on, shut up. The, isn't it the Quran, the book of Allah, and he is your guidance? It's not Ibn Abba Abbas, it is Allah. So in the Quran, obviously, nowhere it says that the Bible is changed. Otherwise, all of you will agree that the Bible is changed. But you just gave me two opinion. Half of the Muslims say, oh, you know what? Uh, not that change. It's only the meaning. The other half say, Oh, the, the text change. And so why the Muslims are confused? Because obviously the Quran is a stupid book. Thank you very much for saying that. However, what you just said is against the Quran. From the beginning, I told you, the Quran said that I confirmed the book between their hands. So how Allah confirmed the book between our hands, yet you Muslim, you take the second opinion. It is our hands. It is talking about the Quran. No, no, not talking about the Quran. Talking about the book was before you. Okay. 
مصدقا لما بين دينو 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 الارابيك chapter 3 chapter 3 verse number 3 okay let me go let me go there okay mm. <coughs> in the meantime you tell we have a different opinion that means quran is wrong no that so means that means islam is, that means the quran fail to explain okay. itself the quran okay. <laughs> fail to explain <laughs> itself in a very sensitive uh, topic that the book of Allah, the book of Allah is preserved or not because when the Muslim they accuse the Torah or the gospel to be corrupted they are accusing Allah that he is weak he could not protect his book anyone can give Allah a finger and and, and, and change the book yeah, okay. that's what you are saying to me okay, okay, when you say something like that maybe you clearly know the Christian history even in the Christian history you could not agree on Trinity that's why you have the church fathers they have different opinions who, who, an example. who yeah, I mean, in your Christian history, okay, yeah. you have the church fathers, okay? Yeah. In the early church fathers, until the Council of Nicaea in 381, yeah. they could not agree on Trinity. No, this is this, this, this is this is this is this is a stupid of you to say, because <laughs> no, okay, okay. because that cancel that cancel is not about the Trinity. That cancel is about if Jesus was exist from the beginning or not. If he is exist what? with the Father, hold on. If he is exist or later he was born, that it was. So all of them they agree that Jesus is God. Hold on. All of them, both party who they are debating, they agree about Jesus being God. Is that correct? So that's why you have. So you see, you're being stupid now. So even when debate, they are not debating. And secondly, secondly, the, the, you see, hold on. No, those are you know for us. If somebody go out of the line of the teaching of Jesus, we don't call him a Christian. We call them heretic. We call them a cult, like Muhammad. As an example, Muhammad. Muhammad, he made satanic verses saying that his God told him that I will give you women. Go and sleep with this and this and this. What does to do? What does have to do with God? If 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 Muhammad is if Muhammad is from God, he will not even get such a verse. Now read for me chapter three, verse number three. Because listen, you just destroyed your religion. You just destroyed your religion. You Muslims, you believe against your Quran. You are insulting your God, making fun of him, and I love it. Okay, okay. Now, the thing is, you do not just... My friend, don't waste my time. Go... Not the thing, not my thing, not your thing. Let us go to the Quran. Which one is more accurate, me or you or the Quran? <laughs> no, let, let's see, okay. Even if in the Christian history, okay, hmm. you have the first, first Clement of Rome. Then my Saint friend, we don't have... Justin this Martin. is not a Christian Justin history. Martin. This is this is not a this is that that's that's false. That's false. This is not a Christian history because in the Old Testament, not only in the New Testament, the Trinity is exist. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it David? Isn't it David? You know, Jesus he said to the Jews, "What you say about the Messiah?" It is he said he is the son of David. He said, "Then how David he called him God in his spirit." This is in the Old Testament, so don't be stupid. You are, you are ignorant. You, you are you are ignorant. David okay, worship David worship the Messiah before the Messiah even coming to this earth to be between us, born from Mary. Now go, on, my friend. Don't waste my time. Chapter three, verse number three. No, you are lying. Can you show me single church father who believe in Trinity? Give me a single name who believe in Trinity. Can you believe? Can you show me what? Can you show me what? Can you give me one church father name of the one church father? Who All of them. In Trinity? All of them is 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 isn't it John from the church father? Isn't it Paul from the church father? Isn't it Matthew from the church father? How far how farther we can go? Are you stupid or what? <laughs> no, 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 because we have the because we don't. No, 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 no just, just we will we will go there. Just wait. You are being silly. I mean, you are you are just a kid. You, you don't even have a mature no, no. sentence, my friend. No. The church father, the first father of the church, is the disciple of Jesus. So you are telling me that in the book of John. Nowhere is speaking about the Trinity. Are you saying to me in the book of Matthew, no. nowhere it says to speak about Trinity? Are you saying to me in the book of Luke, nowhere is speaking about the Trinity? You are just a fool <laughs> trying to make to, 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 to play smart. So now listen, no, no, why you don't want to read for me the verse? Why you don't want to read for me the verse? Why you don't want to read for me the verse confirming that every single Muslim is a fraud? Chapter 3, verse number 3. No, because you are lying. Because okay, read it. Say, okay, read let, it. Let, read let, it. Let, 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 let us finish what you said just now. You said that Pat, John, Matthew, Luke, it is talking about Trinity, but the early church fathers, they had a different opinion about that one. Nobody, no, that's, that's a lie. That is a lie. Because no church no. father, you, you, you are being stupid again. 
because a church father, in order to be called father of the church, he have to follow those books. There's no other books. We don't have Sahir Bukhari. You are you, you are acting like a monkey no, now. Listen, we don't have we don't have we don't have other we don't have. The Bible says anyone who bring other than the uh, 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 scriptures let him be cursed. So any Christian who follow anything else except those gospel, he is no Christian. And the gospels are so clear. The gospel confirm the gospel confirm that Jesus is God. Yes or no? No, no. Okay. So no. okay. So hold on, hold on. You just said the gospel never said that Jesus said I am God. Is that correct? Okay, after we read this verse, I'm going to show you a list of verses, and I challenge you. I will show you one verse now. Also, also, Bible says he is a man. So how is he going to reconcile? Reconcile because Bible some verses say he is a god. Okay, according to your argument, some verses say he is a man. So he what? He is God. Okay. He is a God. In a, your God is a man. No, he is not a man. Because okay, we will go. Okay, we will go. Let us finish this verse, my friend. We will go. We will show how Jesus can be man. And God in the same time and how God Allah the God of Islam cannot be God because he's a man he cannot do what God can do so Jesus when he is a man he can forgive sin he can make the blind see he can walk in water he can resurrect people from death even he is a creator is that correct no. what do you mean no Jesus did not Jesus 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 is not is Jesus is not the creator Shall you do one thing? No, 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 no. Uh, answer me, answer me. You said, you said no. I said Jesus is the creator. You said no. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So there is nowhere in your religion teach that Jesus create life. No. No. He cannot do it because if he did, if he does something, it is a, with, the, with the permission of God. Because if you say Jesus is the dead, so even the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one by one. I, don't speak fast. I can understand you. Okay. Right now. As I know, there's birds flying in the sky created by Jesus. Is that correct? It is. It is done with the permission of God. Like if you ah, say hold on, hold on. Now it is by permission of God. How you can prove to me and why God, he gave permission to Jesus, not to Muhammad. Secondly, now we have, by permission or not, we have two creator. We have Jesus who have a permission of God to be creator. That's what you just said. Everybody is laughing. And we have Allah as a creator, so now we have two creators. No, if we give the permission, that means he is not God. Does the Quran if say? God, if he is a God, why he need why he need to take permission in the first place? Do you think? First of all, God, first of first, first of all, first of all, did Allah give me permission now to laugh at him? No, you are going out of the topic. You are using a stupid logic. No, no, you keep saying permission. How you can prove to me that your God gave Jesus the permission? We have a proof that Jesus, he do what nobody can do, only God. Can you prove to me that your God can do anything and he can give a permission to do anything? But, but, the, but the Quran, the Quran is a the Quran is a word of a man. He claimed to be a prophet. He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. So how we can trust him same time? Did the Quran say that Allah is the best of the creators? Yeah. Okay. okay. How? So, so you are the one. You are the one who said you follow the Quran, and the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. So even the Quran admit there's many creators. No. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? How Allah can be the best of the creators if He's only the only creator? No, because when He when He says He's the best of the creator, because in the human, human creates so many things. But Allah is the best. That's because false. That's that's false. Because the Quran defined what is a creator is. He said, you know, you the, you worship someone. He cannot even create a fly. The Quran says that. So the one who can create a fly is a creator, not the one who made a bicycle. Bicycle is an idea, is not a creation. You are just being dumb now, like the rest of the Muhammadan. So Jesus, he did not make a bicycle, my friend. He made mud. He shaped the mud. He breathed into the mud, and this is exactly what your God did to create Adam, correct? Yeah. So okay, so what, what, do you, what do you mean, yeah? What do you mean, yeah? When, when Jesus, he breathed into the mud, from the breath of Jesus, life is given, correct? 
it is with the permission of God. Go to you, the okay, you keep saying that, you keep, you keep yes, saying, if there is anyone in the world beside Jesus being given permission from Allah to create like Allah. Yeah, before the Elijah, Prophet Elijah, he used to his it. Who, 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 who? Pro uh, Pro Prophet Elijah. Prophet Elijah, he create people? Yeah, he created because he resurrected dead people so this is not hold on you see i'll be stupid again i'm asking you why you are being a, are, are you are, are you are you like 16 years old i'm asking you if there is anyone in islam first of all elijah did not create anybody you are just being dumb now again you're like me hijab he says elijah mean god is with us so listen carefully if there is anyone beside jesus the messiah he can create from the mud a bird by breathing into the mud in islam if there's anyone else Anyone can do with the permission of God. No, no, I'm asking you, you see, you're just being plain stupid in purpose, so you won't answer. If there is anyone, anyone, don't tell me anyone, I'm asking you, if there is anyone beside the Messiah in Islam did what Jesus did by breathing into the mud, he made a living creature. No, no. no then I shut up and explain to me why. As long, no, hold on, hold on. So now, so now, so now, we have Jesus, and we have Allah, and both of them, according to Islam, is unique. What is unique about them? Only two. So, if it is unique, then Jesus should be able to do on his own. He knows Jesus he will be able to do what, what, what? Jesus will be what, what, what? He should be able to do without the permission. He asked for permission. That okay, where, where, is, where Jesus, he asked for permission. Can you assure me? Go to the world, go to the world. He created birth with the permission of God. But this, but this is what you, this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying Allah. Okay, hold on. So now, okay, I will go with you. Just to show, everybody is dying laughing at what you are saying. So Allah gave Jesus, hold on. Allah gave Jesus a permission to create. Is that because he is son? This is his son? No. So why? Okay, again, so I'm asking you, so I'm asking you for the sake of the shin of Allah, can you tell me why Allah gave Jesus permission to do something only God can do? It is a will of Allah because if you say a prophet Elijah also did the Elijah did not do what Jesus did. You are stupid and nowhere in the Quran is mentioned that. See again now you are saying hold on. You are you are saying you are saying now that your book is a is a book of lies. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Elijah he can do what Jesus did and he did anything like Jesus. So now you are accusing that the Quran is lying about Elijah and going and taking the Bible against the Quran, claiming that Elijah he can do as Jesus, which is not true, because nowhere it says that Elijah can create. Yeah, but what Elijah did, only God can do, because what you are... I'm asking you a question. Why Allah gave Jesus only, according to you, the permission to create? It is the will of God. We do not know. So you cannot explain the will of Allah? Of course, sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. Okay, so you Muslim saying to me, so you are you Muslim, you are saying to me, we cannot explain to you why Allah gave one of his unique feature to be God, because only God can create. But look what happened now. If Jesus cannot do those things, Christian will not believe that Jesus is God. Why I believe Jesus is God? Not only because he don't have sin, not because only he speak wisdom, but because he can do what nobody can do. Only God can do. So Jesus is a creator. Well, he is God. Jesus resurrects people from death. Well, he is God. I cannot, you cannot, he, he cannot, nobody can do. Now you can claim as much as you wish that Allah gave Jesus a permission and we love. If Allah can give Jesus a permission, hold on, listen. Can Allah give himself a permission to resurrect people from death? So yeah, why he didn't? So why he did not resurrect Muhammad? Hey, yeah. uh, CP, I don't think you don't have even the basic common sense to debate. No, so uh, no. You see, I'm asking you a very simple question. How come Jesus can walk in the street, even according to your stories, your Muslim stories? Jesus, he commanded Noah, Noah, to come from the dust. Noah himself. He go back in time to the first man, the son of the first man, and he command him, hey Noah, come back from the dust. Tell me what happened. How come Jesus can command the sand and bring Noah from the grave, which is a man who died long, long time ago, but your prophet cannot do that and your God cannot do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is said. In the Quran, it is said he can bring Noah. 
This is your story. You see, our topic is about documentation. The Muslim documented what Muhammad said. This is what Muhammad said. So are you saying to me now Muhammad is a liar? I am telling whatever he do with the permission of God. No problem. I'm asking you why. You don't answer why. Okay, why Muhammad cannot bring a chicken from the ground? Because it is the will of God as an as Okay, an example, I'm asking example. you now why it is the will of God that Jesus he can do what God can do. Yeah. This, is, this is a stupid logic, CP. No. Okay. Even uh, I you know, my friend, my friend. Can, uh, can, let I, us say, let us say, I have, I have a stupid logic. Can Allah do the same as Jesus? Okay. Can we simple thing? Okay. Can I Allah? Can listen, listen. Now we put Jesus into test. He passed. Jesus, he made the blind see. You agree with that? I agree with that. Jesus, he can make the, the, the sick man heal. He can heal the leper. He can make the one who cannot walk, walk. According to the Quran, even he can create from the clay a bird. He can resurrect people from death. He can tell you even what you hide in your houses. And only Allah knows the unseen. Can Allah do any of those things Jesus did? You keep saying to me, you keep saying to me, Allah give it permission, but the whole Quran saying Allah could not do anything like Jesus. As an example, Allah decided to be smart. And the, the Jews, they came to Allah and they asked him, well, you know, uh, hey, Muhammad, uh, Allah told us that we should not accept any prophet unless he give sacrifice and then Allah he sent fire from the sky and to consume it. Muhammad, he agreed that Allah told him that. But how come Allah could not do it? No, it doesn't mean Allah could not know it. it, is, it is, if it mentioned, Allah said, I will not do it. No, he never said he could not know it. No, no listen, 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 listen. If Allah, he put condition on the Jew not to believe in any prophet. Allah, he put condition. He said, don't listen to anyone. He said to you, I'm a prophet, unless he do the following. Chapter 3, verse number 183. Are you now making fun of the Quran? So the Jews, they said to Muhammad, no problem. We will believe in you. Give us the proof which Allah required from us. And this is what the Quran is saying, not me. And Muhammad agreed with them that Allah, he said that, but he cannot do it. Why? Read it. Okay, you keep saying to me what it says. I show you the verse. I give you the number. You never read anything. Okay, can you give me the number again? Chapter 3, okay. verse number 183. Chapter 3, okay. Verse number Some Quran, those verses are missing, by the way. So I don't know what kind of Quran you have. No, it's just not there. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me go to this conversion. Okay, I hope you have the right. Uh, do you have the Quran of Zakir Naik? Mm, okay. Read, read for okay. us. Hmm. Very simple test. They are not asking you to do anything. Just put a goat. You know, make a slaughter, make a, 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 a lamb. Put it in the in the ground. And God will send fire if you are a prophet. And this is what Allah, he told them not to do, accept any prophet. Unless he do this. No, it is not mentioned. What? I have gone. Uh, okay, can, uh, what, what is the version you are using? It is, what's the verse 159, right? Chapter 3, verse 183. 183, oh, 183, okay. Mm. Oh, and let, you know, just not, uh, let me go to another verse, okay. Oh, it is not there. Can you show me in your screen? You could not find no, the verse? I told you the Quran you have is messed up. You could not find it, right? Are you sure you are opening the Quran at yellow pages? Chapter 3, verse 183. What the problem? No, it, 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 is, no, it does not mention anything what you said. Okay, uh, why you don't read it for us? Guys, it doesn't mention anything like I said. 
Prove me wrong, here we go. You got uh, you have hundreds of people listening. Let them laugh at me. Go ahead, read it and tell me how it did not mention what I say. Why then did you kill them if you are truthful? What? Oh. Don't talk to yourself. Read it, read it. People want to... Uh, you, you have a nice... You know, you, you are the... Uh, Muslims are the best one. Actually, the Quran, by the way, is so beautiful when you read it. Oh. Read so look and we laugh. So, does it say that the Jews, they say to Muhammad, Allah told us, He took our promise, promise, Mithaq Ahad, that we will not accept any prophet unless he give a sacrifice, which is a lamb, and he make an offering to Allah, not to the pagan God. No, haram, haram, Allah is not pagan, yeah. Make a sacrifice, and this Allah condition that we will not believe in you unless you do that. What? Look how easy it is. That is calling because okay, okay, I got the point. In that one, it is saying Allah gave them clear signs, but even Jews kill those prophets. That is what is mentioned because it is talking about the story of Salih. In that one, God gave them a camel, and even the clear sign gave them, they killed that camel. Okay, so now, now, now you make it more horrible. Can you give me one prophet the Jews they killed from the Quran? Yeah, of course. No. Who? Before, due, to the, due to the action, they killed John the Baptist. Who? Who? The Where in the Quran it says that John the Baptist was killed by the Jews? Are you are you mentally ill? How about Jesus? He was killed by the Jews. Oh, so now Jesus was killed and Muhammad and Muhammad lie. Hmm? See? What? You just admitted, you just admitted that the Jews, they killed Jesus, which means the Muslims and Muhammad are a fraud. No, because that was the purpose of the Jews, even John the Baptist was killed. Listen, no, 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 not according to Islam, you are a Muslim, you are making things up now. So, the, and the Jews did not kill John the Baptist, you donkey. Who told you that? Who told you that? The Jews, the Jews are the one who killed John the Baptist. The rabbis, they brought John the Baptist and they killed him. You're stupid like your prophet. Listen, I, 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 I have enough time with the breastfeeding for adults. Listen. I want you to tell me, did Allah put a condition on the Jews that you should not accept a prophet unless he give a sacrifice? If Allah is the one who put that condition and Muhammad, he accept. So what is the excuse? Oh, you know what? Prophet before me did, did that. But so that means Allah is stupid because Allah, he told them, don't accept anyone. Don't Allah knew that those Jews one day Muhammad will come to them and they will ask him for that. Do it. How easy it is! It was it was in the time. Even though God, God, what is God clearly telling? Even if I even if I gave them clear sign, they did not believe. So can so you? I, okay, are you saying to me that in the whole Quran there is no clear sign given to those people to believe? <laughs> oh, there are so many signs. There are so many miracles. Of okay, give me a, give me one so we can laugh. Challenge to you. Oh, no, 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 because. The CP, your are so stupid. Okay. No, 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 no. You see, the question is, how come Jesus, he can do all those things? And now we prove that Muhammad is in this ability. He can do nothing. He's a, he's a false man. I can claim that I'm sent by God. And then I can, like Mirza Ghulam, he claimed to be the Messiah. Second day, a bunch of a Christian, they brought him. Many people cannot walk. Blind men, blind women. And they said, okay, if you are the, the Messiah, do what the Messiah do. He closed his door, his door and he hide like a rat. So your prophet is the same. Your prophet cannot do anything. So I'm asking you now, can your prophet do any miracle? Of course, there are so many miracles. Give me, give me, me, give me one. And uh, that uh, water came from his hand. There was an incident. What, what? Uh, the people are going, the water, because in the story of Moses, you know. Where we can find this, water. where we can find this story? It is in the hadith. Okay, so you are saying to me that in the Quran, Allah, he said he never gave any sign to Muhammad. In the hadith, it says that Muhammad, he have miracles. No, Quran never said he will, I will not, never give you any sign. It says that, it says that, here we go, let me show you, you are just ignorant like Dag Zakir Naik. Say, say hello to him, say hello to him, say Christian Prince, he spank the Muslims every day. Here we go. This is the the whole Quran keeps saying that they keep asking him how come he don't have one sign just one sign one 
even at the end of Muhammad's life, still they are asking for the same thing. How come he don't have one sign? So are you against the Quran? Are you against the Quran? Are you are you against the Quran? Are you against the Quran? No. Okay. So so why they are asking for a sign? If Muhammad he made a miracle about the water, as you said. Yeah, not one, there are so many. Because we so consider that in, Why in the Quran? Hold on, you see everybody is dying laughing at the fabrication of Muslims. How come in the Quran? How come in the Quran every single miracle of Jesus is mentioned there? But in the Quran we cannot find one miracle of Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> First, 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 CP, that itself proves he is a prophet. So if we say, actually, how does it prove anything? How does it prove anything? If it is, if it happened, if it happened, listen, if it happened, it should be mentioned in the Quran. But in the Quran, there's nothing. Obviously, this is a fabrication later because Muhammad, he made it clear he can do nothing. He can do nothing. What, what water? You're, okay, listen, listen. So when so so, uh, so let us make it let us make it clear let us make it clear Muhammad never given a sign from Allah in the Quran do you agree No first if I going to talk with Don't tell me first and second give me the answer give me the answer in the Quran there is not a single place Muhammad saying the Quran saying Muhammad did miracles No why 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 it is no, it, no okay i can ask you the same question why did jesus say father is greater than me why he said for very simple very simple because he's a greater because he's greater than him he's the father are you stupid or what that's why he called him the father who is a hold on 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 don't be stupid don't be stupid don't be stupid but jesus he came to us as a as he, the bible says jesus he humbled himself so he took the image of a man so he come to us this is why the father is greater because now jesus is speaking to us as a man he humble himself the, yeah, jesus yeah, shut up shut up yeah, the bible says no, that he is no, the visible no, no. image of the invisible god this is what the bible says you see to me nowhere in the bible it says the church father they say that jesus is god he is the visible image of the visible of the invisible god when when one of the disciples jesus said why don't show us the father and that's it jesus says to him i am with you all the time and you do not know me the one who saw me he saw the Father, which means the one who saw me. He saw God. No. Shut up. Now, listen, you are trying to change the topic. How come, how come in the Quran, Allah could not do the same as Jesus? Forget about Muhammad now. Forget about Muhammad. You see, Muhammad is an idiot. We laugh at him. He's busy with Aisha, six years old. But I'm now focusing on Allah. You see, when we talk about Jesus can create, you said to me, Allah gave him permission. In order to believe in that, Allah should be able to create. Did Allah create anything? Yes, no. Yes, no point talking to you if you don't give me enough time. Are you so going you to hang up? Me. Are you going to hang up and run? Can Allah no, create? Can, if there is any no, proof, if there is any proof that Allah can create like Jesus. No, Allah can do anything. It doesn't say Allah. Okay, here we go. Allah he said in the Quran. Allah, Allah in the Quran he said. Hold on, hold on. In the Quran, Allah he said. How can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? No, it is Allah says it is not fitting for him. He doesn't say I cannot. He no, no, he did not say that. He did not say that. He did not say that. He said, How I can, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? Sahiba. What is the problem? He don't have a girlfriend. So can Allah have a son? No. Why? Because he don't have a girlfriend. He did not say, he did not say what it's not fitting for him. What does that mean? This is stupid. No, listen, listen. In, in other verse, in other verse, in other verse, it says, if Allah, He will, He want to have a son, He will. So you're stupid. You do not know your book, obviously. He said He can, but it is that it is not fitting for me. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not fitting for me. But here we have different verse saying that He cannot have a son. You see, the one He is saying. Okay, when I say, uh, each time I give you a verse, you never read it. Is that a habit in you Muslims? Are you illiterate like your prophet? They keep giving you verses. After verses, you never read one. Chapter 6, verse 101. Chapter 6, verse 101. <coughs> See, the thing is, you don't understand. Don't waste my time. Read the verse. Read the verse. 
You don't even understand the English. Read the verse. Yeah. Read the verse. You don't understand English? Yeah, that's the thing. Because the, the, you should have better education. Ah, oh, I don't understand English. Do your prophet know English? Do your God Allah speak English? If so, why you pray to him in Arabic? I speak Arabic. I speak the language of your God. And I speak good Arabic, not like the Arabic of your God. The Quran is full of stupid things. Now, now read for me this pupu. Read for me this pupu. Oh. Don't, don't talk about English, you know. But then, sister, read some bread, you don't speak English. And now we prove that you don't even educated. Your prophet can't even read his name. He cannot even read his name according to you. Are you making fun of your prophet? Are you trying to bully me now? So now read for me. How Allah, let us bully Allah, me and you together. Let us join forces together. I will pay you five dollars, you know. Allah, he is saying, how can he? This is not me. How can he? Because I know you will not read the verse because you are a coward. How can he have a son if you don't have a wife? How can? Who is saying the word? How can? Allah. So what can present the ability? Allah is unable to have a son unless he have a girlfriend. He simply says, if we have a wife, if we have a son, that means he has, should have a wife too. That's why he has no Ah, wife. thank you very much. See, I, I, I will go with you now. So now Allah, so now, now you just, now you just approve to me. Hold on. You just approve to me that Allah cannot be the one who made Mary have a son. Because if Allah cannot do it to himself, how he can do it to Mary? Now, if I ask you, how Mary she have a son? You will say, Allah gave a permission. Here we go. Allah can't even give a permission to himself. He cannot have a son unless he have a wife. And you agreed. Okay, yeah. Well, Allah, if you want to have a son, he need to have a, he need to have a wife. Thank you very much for saying that. No, he doesn't say he need to have a wife. He says, no, it's, he you no said wife. that. You said he that has. too. And he said that. You said that. That's and he said that. Why Allah no. cannot? Okay, hold on. If, why, if, he is everyone, why he is mentioning, how can I have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? If he do not need a girlfriend. He, he doesn't say he does not. So he cannot. He says. How no, he I says he cannot. cannot. Are you stupid? Read the verse. Read the verse. Don't tell me he did not say that. He said, how can he? He did not say, he did not say, I don't have a son. No, he said, how can he, and this is funny, Allah speaking about himself as he, which is stupid. So how can he have a children, have a son, but he have no girlfriend, not wife, sahiba? He simply says, he did not have because all those, those people attribute that he has a son. And God simply asking how he can have a son because in the God, if, as an example, okay, if God have a son, that means he could have a female God, only male God and female God can okay, have a Okay, 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 okay. Are you that, shaking, that, are you, are you shaking your head now? I can imagine you shaking your head, you know, okay, yeah, I will go with you, okay. So if Allah, if Allah have a son, that means he have a, he have a wife. Okay, I'm going to show that you are stupid. Does the God of the Christians have a wife in order to have a son? That's why we say it is wrong. That is the logic. See, you're just being stupid now. You just say to me, he is showing them that in order to have a son, he need to have a wife. But if he is refuting the Christian, you're stupid. The Christian don't believe that God have a wife and they have a son. His name is Jesus. So your God, you fail again. You fail again with the stupid Muhammad story because the Christian, nobody believe that God have a wife. They get married and they went to the honeymoon in the Bahama and then they have a baby son. His name is Jesus. And really, you know, happy, happy time. Hey, my son, how are you doing? Where's your mom? This is stupid because they don't believe that God have a wife. So the answer here is a stupid answer, proving to me that the one who made the Quran have a lack of wisdom. I want to tell you a story and please don't make fun of me. You know, yeah. because I want to see, I want to see how I far, how far, tell don't tell me one thing. Don't tell me one, don't hang up, don't hang up, don't hang up, don't hang up. Hold on, hold on. I will tell you, I will tell you a story. I will tell you, hold on, I just received a message. I just, I just received a message from my grandmother. Hold on. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. She just said to me, hold on, I'm, read, I'm going to read for you. I will share it live on air. That my grandfather, he passed away and they did not notice that he is dead since last year, 12 months ago, because he died standing holding a stick. What do you think? Why are you are laughing? No, no, I'm, I'm not laughing. I did not, I did not understand what you said. My grandfather, my, my grandmother, she told me, that my grandfather, he passed away 12 months ago, but none 
in his house notice that he is dead because when he died okay. he died standing holding a stick okay what do you think about my grandmother's story should i believe her because simply simply i'm telling you when you say something I don't don't you have don't change the topic please you are hurting my feeling I'm now i'm saying... talking about my grandfather please should i believe her that my grandfather he died 12 months ago and nobody noticed that he is dead because he was holding a stick standing she come to the room she speak to him he didn't answer she did not notice still because he stand he's standing for 12 months shall i believe in her story You cannot. The story in the Quran, you idiot. Huh? huh? This is story in the Quran. Everybody heard you saying, no, you cannot believe it. So now you just buried your prophet. Your prophet is a fraud. He is a liar. He said, Jesus gave a permission, he gave him permission from Allah. Here we go. You should not believe this story, but this is a story is in the Quran. Nobody noticed that he is dead. Hold on. Nobody no noticed he is dead until the termite they ate his stick and he fell down and you are saying no you should not believe in it they've already heard you it's recorded you cannot take it back it is recorded oh. open the quran no open open the quran with me and let everybody oh. laugh at the false prophet who claimed he's to be prophet he bring us okay. fiction fiction stories even you you as a muslim you refuse to believe in it oh. No, no, because uh, see, 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 the thing is, you never let me speak. That's why it is like you are winning. You never let me speak. If you give me at least... I let you speak. You said no, everybody heard it. I tell you the story. I repeat the story three times. I told you it's a sensitive. You hurt my feeling. And you, you, you know, you think, thank you very much. You did not hurt my feeling very much. But you hurt my feeling very much at the end because you accuse my grandmother that she is lying when she said to me, my grandfather died for last 12 months and nobody noticed. And I asked you, should I believe her? You said no. That is a miracle. Okay, even in the Bible, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Hold on. A second ago, it was not a miracle. Why it's not a miracle about my grandfather? Maybe God wants him to stand like this. And how it can be a miracle? A person is dead. Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me the band. A second ago, it was a false story. A second after, it's a true story. Listen, if a man is dead, let us say it's a miracle. I want to go with you. Can a termite destroy the miracle of Allah? You know, can the termite, listen, can the termite, the termite ants, the Allah when I can see his death, his wife, his, this guy is a king, he's a king, he's have a kingdom. So all the people, they come, they see a guy standing up, let us say for the sake of argument, a human being standing for a year, his body did not decay, your prophet, he stink after three days from not burying him. And then it was Ibn Abbas, and you mentioned Ibn Abbas, he said, Bury your friend, he stink like all a human, they stink. But your prophet, he says, we prophet, nobody, that we, uh, God, he forbid our body from decay, from being decayed. So he exposed himself again. Even his death was an exposure, expose to him. But listen what happened now. Allah want to conceal the death of Solomon. He made him stand holding a stick. I, I, Who in the world want to believe? Hold on. Let us say, let us say I go to the room of Solomon, and now Solomon is dead. He's holding a stick. How I will not find out that there's not something wrong. The first day I came to him, he did not answer. He did not talk. He's not move. He's dead. Second day I come back. He's not moving. He's not talking. He's not answering. Third day, fourth day one year and nobody noticed that the guy is dead and the termite they ate his stick do you have termite at home yeah firstly you should let give me enough time so i can come up with a reply because you never let me speak we have similar stories in the bible also that's a story of the people of the cave so they sleep in people the of, cave people, people of people years. of what why why you are why you are jumping like a monkey you're trying to escape from a stupidity to say in the Bible it says what in the Bible it says there's a guy he dies standing for a year <laughs> you have the same kind of stories in the Bible also. no hold on okay hold on hold on if we have if we have the same story in the Bible 
You can mention one, so we can laugh together okay. in the same time. Okay. How you okay. okay, okay. Mention to me a story from the Bible so we can laugh. Okay, we can laugh. Okay. Hmm. In the Bible of in the Jacob, okay? Jacob wrestled with God and he defeated the God. Thank you very much. So okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you defeat God? Okay. What if I show you that you're a prophet, he is a stupid man, he took the story and it's in the Quran? Go, show me in the Bible. No, hold on, hold on. You see, in the Bible, is speaking about Jacob. The struggle here is not about fighting boxing like Muhammad Ali or an idiot, but you're a prophet. He took the name of Israel for Jacob in the Quran, which means he admit that he agreed with the story because this is what Israel mean. No, it, that means he, what Israel. What Israel mean? Can you tell me what Israel mean? People call him Israel. That's no. why he took the name. It doesn't mean. Prophet, no, not that's people, that's you donkey. That's not that's people that's call that's him. That's Allah called him. The Quran in front of you. Are you a donkey or what? Yo, that's why the people okay. call him. Okay. Why? No, not the people call him. Not the people call him. Allah called him Israel. Can you tell me why? Israel mean. Israel mean. Israel mean. Shut up. Israel mean. This is what. This is a can open the dictionary. The one who struggled and wrestled with God. You just made fun of the story. You are making fun of the Quran. This, no, this, what, this, the okay, so the why in the Quran, why in the Quran, why in the Quran, your God, Allah, saying, well, yeah, he struggled and he wrestled with God. His name is Israel. It is the Bible. In the Bible. My friend, why the name? Okay, in the Bible it says, because he struggled with God, God told him from now on, I call you Israel. Now, why your God no. called him Israel? What? Why your God did not call him Jacob no more? He called him Israel. Can you give me the answer? Because people identify him as Israel. Okay, That's so are you saying to me, are you saying to me that the Jews, they say that Jacob, he struggled with God, so we will call him Israel. Allah, he liked the name. He took it too. Because if you need to identify <laughs> someone, if, as an example, if, you are, if your name is stupid, then only I can go listen, to listen, listen. People are dying laughing at you. Now, let, let me ask you. You mentioned that is it possible to, 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 to challenge God, like to struggle with God, to refuse God command or to fight God. Is that correct? Yeah, that means okay. it is illogical. If, it is if, very good. if Allah, man, if Allah, man, okay, my friend, my friend, man, I love it. I love it what man, you just said. You just said, you just said it's illogical. So it's logical that Shaitan, he go inside your anus if you don't say the prayer before you enter the bathroom. It's logical shaitan go around your penis when you having if you don't have a prayer before intercourse. It's logical that shaitan sleep in your nose, piss in your ears, and jump in your mouth. It's logical that shaitan he will make fire in your wife a pupic if she don't say a prayer before she having sex. It's logical that shaitan he fart when you pray to Allah. It's logical that when you go to heaven, you will be uh, an endless, uh, uh, your penis will be endless and your wife vagina will be endless too. It's logical that in heaven, your prophet will have the power of 4,000 men and boom, boom. It's logical that in heaven, your wife, she will have an ass of one mile. It's logical that in heaven, your wife, she will be see through, which is an X-ray, disgusting, stupid. It's logical that you will have 80,000 little boys to serve you and they are naked. It's logical that every woman, she have 70 maid and the 70 maid, they have 70 maid. And the 70 maid, they have 70 maid. You end with billions of women for Sex. Shut up. It's logical that you will have a tent. It's logical to have a tent in heaven. It's the distance between it. It's from Damascus all the way to Yemen. It's logical that your prophet, a bunch of black men, they did ride him like a donkey all day long. Is that logical? No, you don't. I told you, because these are made up of figurative speech. And second thing, you don't understand the English. That's okay, it. my and friend, I don't understand don't... English. I don't learn Islam by English. I speak Arabic. Do you understand Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? You keep making fun of me. You keep making fun of me in my English. Do you know Arabic? I tell you, you don't know Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Okay, speak to me in Arabic. Guys, I do not know Arabic. Here we go. You don't have any common sense because you are interpreting in a completely different way. It is because my friend, let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. You see, I challenge you to show me yeah. one thing Allah can do like Jesus. You fail. Can Allah do anything like Jesus? No oh, man, how time I tell you how prove prove prove, prove 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 very simple. But Jesus, Allah, Jesus, according to the Quran, he did all those miracles. Did Allah did any miracles? Amen.
who created Jesus according to the Quran? Uh, according to the Quran. Okay. okay. According according to me, I I created Muhammad. Here we go. Huh. The talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Okay. How Allah He can create Jesus? I will go with you. Who is the one according to the Quran who created Jesus? Allah created, Allah created Jesus. The Quran says no. No, it is Allah created the Jesus. No, Jesus according to Muslims, the one who created Jesus, Jesus, according to Muslims, the one who created Jesus is Jibreel. Yeah, Jibreel is the one. He blow, but it's he did. Because hold on. So who is the one? Okay, hold on, hold on. Who is the one who? Who is the one who can only create? Why Allah did not give permission to Jibreel? It is a will of God, man. You cannot, you cannot ask this stupid question. I okay, so we cannot ask, but you can ask I about can... my God, but you cannot ask your God. You see how you're stupid your logic? So we cannot ask because it's your God. Okay, now I'm asking you, please. I'm not asking Allah. Allah, is, Allah does not exist. We cannot ask him. Listen, 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 listen. If Allah is the one who created the human being, who is the one who created the human being? Is it Allah or Muhammad? Okay, how Allah he says he created a human being from a sperm and the sperm became a dead blood. Hey Amen. You are going out of the topic. Okay. No, we are not. Because if Allah is the one who create, if Allah is the one who create, he should know what he created and how he created. But speaking stupid does not make you the creator. What kind of God he say that Allah created from a semen and the semen become a thick dead blood? How Allah get it wrong? How Allah get that wrong? Oh no, man. You are talking about the science now, right? The first thing she you Each time I give you a verse, you never read it, you never answer, and you change the topic. No, you are the one changing the topic. It okay. Is, is Why the Allah do not know? Okay, let us focus. Let us focus. Why Allah do not know how the baby is created if he is the one who created the babies? Okay. Even if you go to Genesis, in the first day he created light, in the fourth day he created he created sun. How can he in, in what? In what? In what? In the Genesis chapter one. Yeah. In the first day he created light. In the okay. fourth day he created sun. Okay, what what, what the what, what the problem? How? Go to go go how can he create the light without the sun and moon? Because the light is and not the sun, Genesis. Abdul. Let me explain to you. But uh, and then and okay. you know you you see, you see you just killed your prophet right now. I will show you why. You, the light the light is light is not the sun. Sun is just a star. You are an idiot. Light. He said let okay, me light. Hold on. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. You ask me a question. So now you say it. How the sun was created in the fourth day? Correct. So this is the obje objection. Correct. Light. Okay, but what if your prophet he said exactly the same, you idiot? Now you will you are in trouble badly. People will die laughing at you. Look, listen, your prophet he said exactly the same. Let me show you your name to everybody so people will die laughing. You know you are from India, right, or Pakistan? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. So here we go. Aha, aha. So it's a hadith. Ah, hadith. So what if it's a hadith? Is it is it authentic hadith? Is it authentic hadith or oh, hold on, hold on. Is it authentic or not? It's authentic. You laugh and you and Zakir Naik, you laugh. You say, how oh God, he can do that. But now we found, because both of you are a donkey, you do not know what your prophet said. Your prophet, he said exactly, he changed a little bit the, the story, but he said that Allah created, hold on, Allah created the light in Wednesday. Let me talk. Let me talk. You read the hadith. Read the read the hadith. I I know. I know. I know the hadith. No, you do not know the hadith. Okay, give me the which book the hadith is located. Okay. Okay. No, I don't remember the book. Okay. Which the which just just give me the name, man. Okay. If if you know if you know the hadith, listen. You are a liar. You you are a liar. You never heard this hadith before. This is why you made fun of what the Bible is saying. Because if you know, you will not mention it. Okay. Tell me the name of the book. Okay. Can you can you can you give me two minutes? Can you tell me the name of the book, which is the hadith is there? What is the name of the book? I know. I do not know the book. I know it is even. Swear by swear by the shin of Allah that you heard this hadith before. Yeah, I have heard this. I have seen this. I have swear seen this. by the what? shin of Allah. Swear by the shin of Allah that you heard this hadith before. Amen. 
What? So why do you want to swear? Okay, so now, so now we have a problem. You made fun that how that can be true because he created the light in the beginning and then he created the sun. Well, your prophet he is saying that there is no sun for the first four days. Yet there is trees. There's there's trees. There's a trees. Okay, hold on, hold on. How many? How many? How many? Because each time I give you something to read, you refuse to read. No, man. Why can't you let me speak? What is, why can't you let me read? You made fun. You made fun about God said, let me light. I asked you why. I asked you why. He said, you said, because, well, he created the sun in, 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 in the fourth day. So um, you are speaking. Stop talking about uh, not speaking. Each time I give you something, you refuse to read, and you jump to speak about the Bible, and then I get you busted, and then we go back. And that's what you did now, the same as before. So now, are you making fun of your prophet if what he said in the hadith? Do you accept this hadith? Let me know. No, I don't accept it because even the Muslim scholars say, even though that is authentic, some like Albani says, that is that is not a word of Prophet Muhammad. It is someone. Okay, Al Alabani he said. Al Alabani he said. This is not the word of a Prophet Muhammad. Can you show me where Al Alabani he said that? No, no. It is already. I have so, because I have so many documents which says. You are says, you are a big fraud, a big fat liar. No, show me where Al Alabani he said that. No man, I have a link. Okay, I can paste in the chat. In show me, show me where Al Alabani he said that. I will give you time. We search, search, go, go, go ahead. In that verse, it is clearly mentioned. There's a first. They say it is someone messed up because someone got it from the Bible. It is not. It is. It is someone messed up in that in that hadith. It says this is from the Bible. Yeah. No. It is. It is not in the same hadith. It is. The ah, it's, it's not in the hadith. It is your grandma. He told you, but this is Sahih Muslim. This is authentic. So now we go back to zero. So the documentation about your prophet is full of lies, and you Muslims, anything look embarrassing, you don't accept it. Now you mentioned to me that uh, 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 Israel, he fought and he struggled with God. You don't like that. If Allah, he sent the angel of death to you to take your soul, can I beat up the angel? It depends who I am. Oh, if you are Bruce Lee, if you are Bruce Lee, you can be the uh, the angel of Allah. No, it is, I don't know. Maybe if a prophet can do with the permission of God, it is possible. Ah, okay. Show me where it's. So, are you saying to me Allah is stupid? So Allah He sent His angel to take the life of Moses. Hold on, to, to take the the life the of Moses. But Allah do not know that He gave Him permission to be the angel and not to die. No, show me the word. Show me the word. You show me, show me the verse. So you never heard this story before? No, thing is, you are missing the <laughs> I told you, you don't So I'm asking you now, if Allah, he sent, when Muhammad, he died, can Muhammad beat the angel of Allah so he can avoid death? Yes or no? You will change the answer. You will change the answer when I give you the verse. I'm asking you, can Muhammad, he is a prophet, can Muhammad be the angel of death if he come to Muhammad to take his life? Allah send the angel. Allah send him. Send him to Muhammad. Can Muhammad be the angel and he refuse to die? Yes or no? Okay, if the human beat the God in the Bible, then the human can defeat the angel. N no, nowhere it says, you are a liar. Nobody, nowhere it says that a human defeat God. You are stupid. You, you are a liar. No where it says that. No where it says that. You, you are a liar. You are a liar. Okay, okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you for the sake of argument. I will go with you for the sake of argument. So are you saying to me? So are you saying to me? I can refuse the command of Allah and be the angel of death if Allah command my death. Yes or no? Go to the verse. Go to the verse. I will, okay, get lost. Get lost. You are just son of Muta like the rest of you. Coward. You have no dignity. Go to the verse. I show you the verse. You refuted it. It's in the front of you, you potato. Go do muta. Don't call me. I don't have time for kids. Why are you calling me back? Are you going to read or not? No, I know you are stupid. Give me the verse. Okay. I keep saying to you. I okay. I keep each time I gave you a verse. You never read it. Did you read one of them? Because I 
No, I keep asking you. Okay, here we go. It's in front of you on the screen. Okay, okay. Just give me a, give me a second. I'll just press. Okay, I. Uh huh. No, it is not there. I can't read it. it. Don't talk. Don't talk. Read it. No, I cannot see that one still. I'm you... refreshing, but still I cannot. Okay, refresh your screen. Say, inshallah, is going to happen. Don't, don't talk. I... Read it. You should give me enough. Read time. it. You don't so we you so we will laugh at you and your God. No. It your is... God, your God cannot even make his decision happen. He decided no. to take the life of Moses. And Musa did beat the ass of his angel. And not only no. that, he broke his wing and he took his eye out. And the angel went back to Allah, complaining, saying, you send me to a slave, you don't want to die. No, it is not there. Wait, it's in the read it. Over. Read it. Show me the verse. I'm simply asking. Show me the verse. I know you don't understand. I... Just get lost. Send me the verse. Send me the verse. Send me the verse. And every time I send you a verse, you never read it. Send me the verse. When your God, your stupid donkey, he accepts the name of Israel, he accepted the story. Because this is what Israel means. 